All right, so um, I'm about to speak to one of Ghana's baddest um, beat makers, um, producers, um, and his name is Street Beats. And so um, yesterday was a very beautiful uh, occasion between himself and uh, DJ Breezy when Sarkodie initiated, I mean, the fact that we are all on a lockdown, and so we had to entertain ourselves home. And so in internet was buzzing, Instagram was buzzing, the views were crazy. Um, uh, Street Beats was just going back to back, back to back with some his songs. I mean, a lot of people even didn't know the face who Street Beats was. And so I think it was also another opportunity for Ghanaians to know who is behind, I mean, those hits, 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 hits. I mean, for me personally, I really like the fact that, I mean, when he opens Stone Boy's folder, but hey, let's just go into the conversation. Um, I have uh, Street Beats on the line. He's not in Ghana at the moment, but let's see if we can have a conversation with him on what happened between him and DJ Breezy. Uh, street Beats? Yes, sir. Who's slogan here then? The Almighty. The Almighty Street Beats. Yes, sir. Uh, great. Now, uh, first of all, how did you receive the news that, I mean, you have to be or uh, part of what was happening. I mean, we we, we had Apiotis and uh, JQ starting the whole uh, battle for us. I mean, quote unquote battle. All right. Hello. Yes, streets. Can you hear me? Street hello. beats. Hey, hello. Hello. Street. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Come again, come again. Yes. I was asking, how did you receive the news to be part of this? Mm, nice now how prepared were you now and again were you surprised when you were paired with dj breezy no i wasn't but were you scared or you were not scared no 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 for me the word scared is not part of my history though mm. now because i'm asking this because looking at um when D dj breezy you know you have done a lot for yourself even though i mean you've <laughs> You've been you've you've been here for quite some few uh, years, but you've done a lot for yourself. Were you not scared of DJ Breezy because he is like uh, he's been around for a long time? No, I wasn't scared actually. Uh, if if I can budget myself from uh, from exactly what I read on his Wikipedia, he came through around like 2013, 2014. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, before then I produced a um, couple of songs for Sarko, uh, sorry, Castro, Stoneboy, Hamodis of RGBs before 2013. So I think there wasn't anything I should get scared of because he was there before I came. Mm. So, professionally, how long have you been producing songs? Are you there? Yes, professionally, how long have, have you been producing songs? How long? Hello? Hello? Street? Hello? Street beats. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So you got, you got my answer. Yes, yes, I got it. Nice, nice. Yes, how long? So how long have you been producing music professionally? I actually, I'll say eight years now. Hmm. Yeah. And what has been the challenges in beat making? Uh, we have two different type of uh, when people who make beat and all. We have um, a producer and we have a beat maker. Mm -hmm. Being a producer, oh, uh, the difficulties I meet sometimes is when I feel uh, what I played to get a melody like this and it's not getting it. That's the only challenge I have, like making songs. Mm nice now yesterday when you guys were playing back to back back to back um dj busy was just talking saying that hits hit hit songs hit songs now what some of the songs you were playing were not his songs actually he, he should tell me that because uh, i'll say you see when when you think you see your songs being jammed by Ghanaians alone and you think that are his songs it's a big lie hmm you can, can make a song. Excuse me to say, a uh, couple of songs made by uh, people I know way back when I was learning from Kewa were hit songs right there in Kewa. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? That doesn't make it hate songs because it's a hate in tema. But you. yes, I'm getting you. Hello? Yes, I'm getting you. Street. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello? Yes, street beat. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, so I'm saying when a song is 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 is, is loud in a particular area, that doesn't classify it to be a hit song. But in your own definition, what is a hit song? A hit song is songs known by the whole Ghana and across. Mm. Yes. A typical, a typical example of a hit song is a pop song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a hit song because it went outside of the boundaries. Mm. You understand? Yes, I understand. So when, when he's telling me what I'm playing are not his songs, that's the funniest part I even um, got as we were having this. Uh, uh, this 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 um, video online for the public to watch. Mm. Nice. Now, um, what is next for you as a producer? A whole lot. We have a whole lot coming up. Actually, mm. I'm based in Italy now, and I have this uh, this connection is made by uh, Music Music Empire. Mm. They are bringing something up like. Uh, maybe a cipher for producers as mm -hmm. well so it's something that i've got large and Ghana works mm. with a couple of bodies uh, helping out mm. now between what happened be, um um what, what i mean what happened between you and uh breezy has it added something to your craft or career hello uh street yes, I'm there. yes i'm there i'm there can you hear me Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Street beat. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yes. Clear. So we have the we have the producer cipher coming up. Actually, right now with what is going on, I think we have a, a sound clash by producers done something um Stoneboy and Mr. Logi way back tried as much as possible to bring together to our Ghana uh, our Ghanaian culture because it's a Jamaican based thing. And mm. I think with this, people are seeing the, the real impact of sound class. So we we have the producers, uh, the producer stuff coming up as well, whereby we're gonna set two different tables. We give you 30 minutes to produce, 30 minutes to produce, and we have judges talk about them. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, with respect to what happened between you and Breezy yesterday, has it added something to your crafts? Now, who was the lady behind you? Oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, she's called, uh, Josie. Your girlfriend? She's, she's, um, a member of the Isaac Empire team. Okay, I thought, I thought, I thought she was, she was, she was your new girlfriend. Hello? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I thought, I, I thought she was your girlfriend. Yeah. Yes. Ah, <laughs> because because the way she was happy, the way she was happy. <laughs> Actually, she was so so happy for this this to happen because mm. it's something we have, we have been talking about together with the whole team, getting a cipher for the producers, and this thing came in, and I was like, I just called all of them, we sat down and made them know, like this is what's up for them got on board. And so what are they taking? Because I think uh, it's a good it's, it's, it's a good decision to have a whole lot of people to get you to know whether it's good or bad. If they were all happy for it to happen. Mm. Now, um, 
tonight we have KY and J JMJ, J Master J. Yes. Who is your choice? Oh, actually, I, I, uh, if in God will not, if God cannot tell me I should go in for J Master J. Uh, <laughs> respectively, I respect all of them to be my big, my big, my big bosses. You understand? But I'll start with KY because I learned from KY. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Okay, you're welcome. All right, bye. <laughs>